Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I've made a video. I actually recorded this video already and the footage wasn't terrible. I felt like I could do better. It was probably about a month ago. So here I am again to re-record blowing out my medium length hair. <laughs> I would say short, but it's been a while and my hair has grown a lot since I last cut it. I'm excited to see what the length looks like this month since the last time I blew it out was last month. A while back I asked you guys if you want to see me blow out my hair what device do you want me to use? It was between the Revlon blow dryer and the Revere reverse blow dryer and everyone chose the Revlon so I'm going to be using that today. The process is really simple. This is really just to see like what my hair looks like at this length. But to prep my hair, I washed it, deep conditioned it with the Melanin Hair Care Multi Softening Leave-In Conditioner, which is, I don't know, it's somewhere, but it'll all be linked in the description box. That's it, I didn't put anything else in my hair. I'm not going to put anything else in my hair. So what I would usually do, because I usually wash my hair at night, is I would sleep in my satin scarf with these twists after washing and allow my hair to partially dry overnight just because it speeds up the blow dry process and makes it so that I don't have to use as much heat on my hair. Less heat, faster process, it just works. Since today I worked out and I just like kind of refreshed my scalp after working out, I just sat under a hooded dryer. So that's a really good tip for anybody who's blowing out their hair. If you wanna speed up the process, use less heat, either sit under a hooded dryer if you can for just a little bit to partially dry your hair or just sleep on it at night to let it air dry. We are partially dried and I've got my little twisties here. I look like I have no hair in these twists. It's just so weird because my hair is so short now. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to grow it out or if I want to keep my bob life going. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna do one side at a time. Clippity, clippity, okay. I'm going to apply my favorite, my current favorite um, like heat protector, which is the Aveda Brilliant Damage Control. I just spray it into my hands. I don't want to use too much because I don't want my hair to be super wet or sticky. This stuff does a really good job at not making my hair too heavy. And I open my twist, so now of course I have two sides, one for each side of the twist, and I'm going to blow out one side at a time. Having my hair prepared and twist after I wash my hair helps in so many different ways. And right now it's gonna help me organize my hair into the perfect sections to blow dry. I blow dry on low. This thing has gotten like so used that I don't even know, like it's missing all of the button labels. So I'm just gonna have to listen and figure out what's low. That's high, that's must be low. I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this video about how I blow dry because I have other videos about how I blow dry using the Revlon blow dryer on low heat. So I'll just link those in the description box for you. That's how fast it blow dries when you allow it to sit under a hair dryer or air dry overnight. So you don't have to put as much heat on it as you would if you were straight out of the shower. I do not blow dry my hair straight out of the shower. When I used to get my hair relaxed like 10 years ago, my stylist, Miss Joanne, She's probably not watching, but hi if you're watching. Because my hair was always super thick, she used to always put me under the hooded dryer after she washed my hair to get the water out before she blew my hair out as well. If you want details on like what I'm doing and why, um, super specific details like how I'm holding the brush, um, all of that, I'll link it in the description box, guys. Just check that out, that video out, after. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing okay. I know times are really crazy and stressful right now. November really can't come fast enough to be quite honest with you. Every day I'm checking YouTube and the news articles and just reading up on things and like internally crying. <laughs> but I hope that you guys are doing well and staying mentally fit because I know it's not easy with all of the news going on right now. It's just very devastating to this country, to be honest, and to our people. Like, it's like a double situation going on for us, so. I'm gonna go ahead and split this one in half a little bit better. Yeah, let's do top and bottom. I had like a bit of a 
scare. I <clears throat> had like a little sore throat and then like a slight cough. And I was like, oh boy, um, I hope that's just like a regular cough. And then the next day I had a headache and I was like, oh snap, like I gotta, I gotta go get a COVID test. Luckily um, where I live, they have free COVID tests. Wanted to take one anyway, just to make sure that I was okay and the kids were okay and everything. But then when I got that little sore throat and the cough and then a headache, I was like, oh gosh. And I was hoping that it was because I skipped my tea. I drink tea or coffee every single day, one or the other. And I skipped it, I believe, two days in a row. And so I was hoping that the headache, you know, was just from that. And the sore throat and cough was just like a regular cold. The thing about coronavirus is like, there's so many different um, symptoms and it's different with every person. So it's so nerve wracking. You never know if it's just a regular cold or if you have, you know, coronavirus. I took the kids to the free COVID screening test. We sat and waited for four hours in our car and then um, we were able to get tested. We got the results back in less than 24 hours and we do not have coronavirus, thank goodness. Anybody who might be watching this who does have it or who knows somebody who has it fighting it right now, I just, you know, I'm sending you well wishes and um, I'm hoping that you get through it because, you know, it's scary. When we got the test back that it was negative, I was just so happy. I was like, oh, thank God. It's crazy what, our, what this country is going through right now. I just don't even recognize my country anymore. Like, I don't recognize it. Did I ever know it, though? When I cut it, it was over my shoulder. And now we've got like, wow, so much length, guys. <laughs> I cut it to like here, if you guys remember. We've got like at least an inch, inch and a half of growth, maybe even two inches. Like that's a lot of growth. I'm trying to not pull it. You guys see all that? I get a lot of questions about how I clean my Revlon blow dryer and the same way you guys do like this thing is notoriously just dirty like not dirty but it collects hair and dust and product and it's very hard to get off so I'll just literally just comb it out I'll pick it out as much as I can before and after I use it and that's literally how I clean it so there's no special way luckily these things are so inexpensive that if you find that there's too much buildup on it then you can always just decide to get a new one if you want but for me i just pick the hair out pick the product off of the brush and keep it moving so just a quick this is just a quick blow dry session super simple and easy and does not take a lot of effort out of you or a lot of time and it does not cause a lot of stress on your precious delicious curly kinky coily hair, frizzy, whatever you got. I've actually been thinking about straightening my hair recently just to see what it looks like you know i'm just in the mood to see it straight and you know like curl it do some wand curls i think i'm gonna do wand curls today after i blow dry it but i bought a straightener from target but then i also got um i was contacted by dyson to review their hair straightener so i'm gonna test that out and see if i like it and if i like it then i will straighten my hair with that and if i don't you will never see it on my channel <laughs> just a heads up And again, the only product I have in here right now is the Melanin Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner and the Aveda Brilliant Damage Control Heat Protectant. 
and you get these delicious, smooth, silky results. That's all you need. Yep, beautiful. It's true. I don't even know what the hell he's saying there. <laughs> Is it when she thought up that I should be with you or when she thought that I should be with you? I don't know. It's time to face the truth. Actually, I don't even know what that song is about now that I'm singing. <laughs> All right, so this is my completed blowout. It's hot, it's like sweating, it's so hot in here. Woo! Here's what my blowout is looking like. I literally don't even understand how my hair grew this long so fast. Should I cut it again? I'm gonna do wand curls, that'll be the next video um, because I haven't done them in so long and I really wanna do them. I think they'll look really cute. Maybe with the wand curls, they'll like shrink up on me. Maybe I should grow it up. But didn't even get to wear my bob for that long. But here's what it looks like. Ooh, it's so hot. Mm. Melanin hair care, baby. Making that hair grow and grow fast. Okay. Ooh, something's going on out there. I'm being nosy, sorry, I'm being nosy. The other day I witnessed a hit and run on someone else's car. And yep, I was that neighbor that was like, the license plate was X, Y, Z. Color of the car was do, do, do. I just heard this crash late at night and I was like, cause I can see literally everything out my window. I was like, what happened? And then I just saw the car like hit the car, slowly black back out and then just like take off. And I was just like, oh heck no. I caught part of the license plate and then I saw the car and I was able to identify it, but they don't know it was me. When I went out the next morning, the entire side of the car that they hit was just like damaged. The tire was popped. It was just looked terrible. I was like, how are you gonna hit someone's car and then just take off like that? I turned into the nosy old lady <laughs> who peeks out her window blinds and, and watches the neighborhood. <laughs> That's me on the pursuit of justice. I'm not ashamed of it. People have to be held to standards clearly in this world. They don't do it on their own. Okay, so that's my blown out hair. And if you wanna see how I style it, just check out the next video. Again, I hope you guys are doing really well. It was really nice to hang out with you and just get back to making videos. I had to pause and I had to take care of myself and my kids and just deal with the mental situation of what's going on and um so i'm happy that i'm finally back and able to make videos and i feel good um making the videos for you guys so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope that you will uh watch the wand curls coming up i think they're gonna be cute oh i wish i had done wand curls when my hair was shorter though not gonna lie all right guys take care i'll see you in the next one bye and i hope it helps <laughs> bye